Hello everyone, this is Pastor Miguel from the Children's Bread Deliverance Ministry Church here in Maryland. We are a church located in Maryland, but we help people worldwide through the use of technology. So if you need Deliverance Ministry, please don't hesitate to contact our ministry. You can do that by going to www.pastormiguel.com. Today I want to talk to you about something that's very serious, and I know that most of my videos say the same thing because I believe that everything I say is serious. And... Um, it's something that if I ever made a video, this is probably one of the most important videos that you could watch. And it has to do with uh, the belief system, the gospel that people believe. There's there's two gospels. There's actually more than two gospels because, you know, you have people that believe, for, for example, the prosperity gospel. But the gospel I'm talking about is um, I'm talking about the gospel of faith and the gospel of works. So recently, you know, and the reason why I'm making this video is because I work with a lot of people that believe that they have to work themselves to get to heaven, meaning that they have to do good works to get to heaven. And I just want to make this video because if you believe that you have to work yourself, uh, you know, do good works to get to heaven, I want to open your eyes. I want you, your eyes to be open and I pray that the Lord opens your eyes so that you see what the true gospel is. True gospel is not a gospel of works. Uh, in fact, in fact, the gospel is given to us in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And it tells us that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, that he was buried for three days and he rose from the dead and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. Now, if you think about that, what Jesus Christ, the gospel, which is found in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 1 through 4. It doesn't say anything there about you having to work, to do good works in order to get to heaven. It talks about what Jesus did for you. The gospel is what Jesus did for you. That he died on the cross for your sin, was buried for three days, and he rose from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. There's nothing there about you having to do good works to get to heaven. And I want to clarify something, because I know people are going to say, what are you talking about? The book of James says, you know, works without, without um, faith is dead. I'll explain to you what that means because there's a lot of mis, uh, mis conception, conception of what that actually means. And so it needs to be clarified here today. If you're watching this video and you believe that you could work yourself to heaven. If you could work yourself to heaven, Jesus would not have to, have to die on the cross because you could do it on your own. But Jesus obviously had to come here and shed his precious blood for the forgiveness of your sins so that you could have salvation through faith in Jesus Christ alone. Now I want to read some of the other scriptures that I have here. And um, the first scripture I want to read is Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 2. And it's uh, verse 8 to 9. And it says, God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. God has given you the a gift of salvation. Salvation is not uh, a reward for the good things we have done. So none of us can boast about it. So, you know, because when you boast about something, you take credit away from the finished work of Jesus Christ on, on the cross. Meaning that when you claim that you could work yourself to heaven, you're taken away from the glory of God, of the sacrifice, the ultimate sacrifice done by our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. You are stealing His glory. And therefore... Uh, it's not a true gospel to believe that you could work yourself to heaven. The other thing I want to say, the other thing I want to say is in the book of James, you know where he talks about faith without uh, good deeds is dead? Faith without works. And let me explain that to you. We get a lot of people here who are Mormons and Jehovah's Witness uh, knock on our door in our home. And I have to continuously have to explain this to people because they don't seem to understand this. When you have the Holy Spirit come inside of you because you become born again through faith in Jesus Christ alone. The Holy Spirit comes inside of you and then you become a new creature. Okay, But your soul, your ability to think and your ability to feel your emotions, your will and things like that have to go through what we call the sanctification process. Where in the long run, you become more Christ-like. What this means when you read faith without uh, works is dead. What it means is James is talking about 
not about you having to work yourself to heaven. It is talking about your your works are, uh, in fact, evidence that you have the Holy Spirit deep inside of you. Good works are evidence that the Holy Spirit lives inside of you. And because the Holy Spirit lives inside of you, you want to do good works. So let me explain to you. Let me read what the scripture said. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you have faith but do not show it in your actions? See, he's saying he's saying right here, what 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 good is it for you? If you claim to have faith, but your actions don't show faith, can that kind of, of, of faith save you? Meaning, do you really have faith? Do you really have faith? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing, and you say, goodbye and have a good day. Stay warm and eat well. But then, you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that to you? Mean, yeah, you understand what I'm saying? This is, this is clear evidence here in the Word of God. That, you know, if you claim to be a Christian and you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, you want to help people who are obviously in need. In this case, you know, uh, James talks about the fact that the evidence that you do have the Holy Spirit inside of you is the fact that you do want to help this person who doesn't have any food at all. Right? Because that's how God is. God, God gives you the gift of the Holy Spirit, right? Of being saved, of being born again. But, you know, the Holy Spirit works inside of you and it convicts you when you when you sin, when you do bad things. And so if you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, something will convict you and will tell you, you know, I need to feed this person. They don't have any food. They don't have a place to stay. And that it, by itself is evidence that you d indeed have the Holy Spirit living inside of you. So so it says, so you see, faith by itself isn't enough because you could say you believe. But if your works, if people look at you and they can't see Christ in you. You're not really saved. Unless it produces good deeds, it is dead and useless. You understand? So, meaning, if you say you have faith, but there's no deed, there's no evidence, there's no change in you, there's no change in the works you do, then, you know, in fact, it shows that you're not really saved. So, I hope this clarifies this video, seven minutes long or eight minutes long. I hope it clarifies and gives you an understanding that works do not save you. Works are just a representation. It's just, it's just a, a, actually a, a manifestation of the fact that you are saved, that you have the Holy Spirit deep inside of you, that you believe by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, that He died for your sins, that He was buried for three days and He rose from the dead, and you put your trust in what Jesus did for you, which is to, to die on the cross for your sins. Okay, I hope this video helped you. If you're confused about it, you're welcome to... Uh, leave a message below. I'll be happy to talk to you about it. But please stop believing in the false gospel or works getting you to heaven because they won't. It is by faith alone in Christ alone. God bless you.